Guys, it's Earl and Brian. Today we're going to go over the power routing on a lot of our Nissan harnesses. So this will cover SR20, CA18, and all the RB variants. First what we're going to look at is our starter 12 volt wire. Now this is attached to the battery stud on the starter. Now your starter still needs a cable that goes from the starter to the battery positive. This is just a pickup point for our harness so that we can power the ECU. Now this harness also has one ground because it's an SR20. This will be located on the intake manifold. It's very important that it goes on a clean surface. You want to have a good connection. What we're really going to go over today is this ECCS relay, how it operates, what the ECU does to turn it on. So for today's purposes, I have battery power and ground backfed into the harness from the battery. Now this is going into our interface. This would be installed in your vehicle. You wouldn't need any of this stuff going on. So what we're going to do is this is my ignition source. This basically simulates turning the key on. So I'm going to apply power to it and you're going to hear this relay click. So that click verifies that the relay is operational. Now we're going to go over how to test it. I've got our, our multimeter grounded over here. We're going to go to a DC voltage setting and we're going to show you guys what's going on. So we've got this wire here, which is on terminal 87. It's got 12 volts. It's getting it from that ring terminal that would be on your starter. And then we also have this wire here. It's in position 85. That also gets 12 volts from the same source. Now, this wire here, the red with the black tracer, is in pin 86 here on the relay. There's a little diagram here. So what that's going to do is it's going to receive a switch ground from the ECU. Now, 85 has power. When 86 gets grounded, it closes the circuit between 30 and 87. So now 87 is going to power 30, which is this black wire with a white tracer. And that is going to power on items in the harness like your idle valve, your cam angle sensor, and it also supplies secondary power to the ECU. So let's go ahead, we'll do a little bit more testing here. If you notice, you can test that red with the black wire that I said is going to be a ground. If you look, it's sitting at 12 volts. It will stay at 12 volts until the ECU grounds it. So it's very important that while you're testing things, you do not try and put your own ground in this because it will damage the ECU. If you have to, what you can do is you can unplug the relay and you can jump this terminal 30 to that terminal 87 and that will power on the engine harness. Now let's go ahead and we'll just show you guys. So we've got the multimeter in there. We're going to turn it to oh. So we turned it to the ohm setting and what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you guys that this pin is in fact grounded now. It does have a little bit of resistance to ground just because it's going through a driver on the ECU. But with that pin grounded, we can go turn back to voltage here. And we should see 12 volts here, which we do. Now, that supplies a secondary power at the ECU, like I said, and it'll also supply items like your cam angle sensor. So we should see 12 volts here now too, which we do. So everything on this is functional and working properly, but that's basically how you go over it and test for items like maybe a failing ECCS relay. Some of these Nissan ECUs are older and they do have driver issues. It's something that we've seen in the past and it's definitely not uncommon.